The people are divided. They squabble while looting of state resources goes unchecked. Comrades blame the whites. They blame the past. They act like victims and reward themselves with high salaries. An inappropriate reward with the poor service delivery and high unemployment numbers that have occurred under their leadership. This is a message from Citizen Concerned telling you to be careful of the comrades. For as long as human beings have been on earth, they have been stealing, killing, raping and enslaving. This was the way of the world for thousands of years. And finally, we're in an era of human rights and people are now protected by national and international laws. But still, citizens are raping and robbing each other at gunpoint, knife point, or even fist point, like you decide. There is one main reason why people, black, white, red, pink, yellow, blue, scramble for other people's properties. It is because they can. Because they are superior in terms of violence, they do it because they can. You have something they want and since you can't defend yourself, they choose to take it by force. In South Africa, the Mfekane Wars resulted in the scattering of various kingdoms, running away, being absorbed into one kingdom. Shaka was to blame for that. The Zulus looted and took grain and demanded tribute to be paid to them, not because they were racist. How and why did they do this? Because they were better at violence than their neighbors. While their neighbors may have focused on farming and other things, the Zulus focused on becoming better warriors, so Shaka and his people could easily defeat and take whatever they wanted. The Ndebelas ran away from Shaka because they were inferior in terms of warfare, hence they moved north and they found other kingdoms such as the Shona and those were weaker than the Ndebeles. Hence, the Ndebeles colonized the Shona lands. Mzilikazi became the ruler of those lands and the Shonas became victims to repeated raids from the Ndebeles. And even then, it wasn't unique to the Shona people. Later, the descendant of Mzilikazi, known as Lobengula, would lose these territories to the British settlers, not because they were racist, but because they were better at violence. Like, are you, are, you, are you following? Are you getting the trend that they were following in these days? The Zulus lost the land to the Europeans, but even among the Europeans, the Boers tried to have it all, but lost it to the British. Whenever the Afrikaners found fertile land or diamonds, the British would come and claim it for queen and country. <laughs> Not because they were racist, but simply because they were superior in terms of violence. It is only recently that humans have started to believe in the so-called human rights, that they have started to treat each other with dignity. The UN or United Nations, which seeks to maintain these human rights standards, was only formed 78 years ago. And yet even now, if you think it's over, you better think again. You better think again. And so now, the biggest, the baddest villain of our times, the Thanos, the dark side of the late 20th and early 21st century, America. The only country to ever drop an atomic weapon on a civilian city. Twice. After dropping the nuclear bombs and killing more than 100,000 on two separate days, they then occupied Japan in the same year. In order to westernize Japan, America didn't colonize Japan because they were racist. They did it because they have better weapons, right? Back to Africa, who was colonized by the Europeans, not because the Europeans were racist, but rather they were superior in terms of warfare. But the politicians don't want us acknowledging these facts. Have you noticed that? South African politicians like the ANC and the EFF like to have this, this victim mentality, you know? They prefer it when we just keep blaming white people, when we just keep blaming colonization and keep blaming apartheid for all of their failings. I don't think as a, as a nation we just became violent overnight. 
violence is a direct consequence of apathy. The reality is that we are dealing with the legacy of apartheid. Uh, apartheid robbed us of having a plethora of town planners uh, in the education system. So those are the effects of apartheid. Load shading uh, is as a result of uh, demand not meeting capacity because the apartheid government only built power stations for select communities and they did not uh, build enough capacity to cater for black people. So now the elect the ANC... In 30 years. Ah, yeah. I will it's almost as if apartheid is this magic word to get you out of trouble. Apartheid is the word that you use to shut your opponents up. Fail at service delivery? Blame apartheid. Get accused of corruption? Blame apartheid. The country has high crime rate? Blame apartheid. The country has a high unemployment rate, blame apartheid. Get questioned about load shedding, blame apartheid. Yes, the past has played a role in South Africa as it did in every other previously colonized country in the world. And there are many previously colonized countries in the world, mind you. It is so unfortunate to see that instead of thinking with their heads, the comrades have a lot of South African citizens thinking with their hearts. My plea to you is please do not fall for the tactics of politicians like the ANC and like the EFF. They cannot thrive without there being division among the people. It is when you and I are divided that they thrive. It is when black people and white people are divided that these politicians thrive. We need to elect politicians that implement policies that encourage everyone to prosper. Whether you're black, brown, you know, pink, blue, whatever color you are, we need to elect politicians that are going to ensure that all of us prosper under their reign. Policies such as BEE have only caused even further divide among us as a people. BEE, in my opinion, is a form of apartheid itself. Yes, if we are all South Africans, we must be afforded the same opportunities regardless of race. Give the people enough education, allow industries to prosper and to grow, punish crimes of corruption, collusion, anti-competition, and violence severely. And South Africans won't even need the help of BEE. When we choose to vote for parties that like to use identity politics, we become complicit in apartheid being perpetrated by the ANC and the EFF. Please like and subscribe, share this video with others. Let's change the country by making sure that this message reaches the masses. This is Citizen Concerned. Stay informed and beware of the comrades.